Hey everybody, I'm Matt Chazanow, voice of the Cougs. It is my pleasure to begin our celebration for the 2021 Senior Awards by reading the names of the 2021 seniors. Owen Leonard, Tristan Peterson, Rad Thomas, Isaac Bonton, Aliaj Kuntz, Tony Miller, David Aldapa, Jameer Calvin, Oscar Dragicevic, Clay Markoff, Jimmy Price, Skyler Thomas, Josh Watson, Nicholas Chiam, Eric Hagen, Ryan Main, Seth Andres, Brandon Baines, Jamon Charles, Alex Cielo, Cameron Dean, Max English, Zach Kindle, Reed Muller, Jacob Nicholson, Paul Ryan, Emmanuel Wells, Madeline Bingham, Oni Chigozi, Isabel Cristelli, Nora Heft, Renee Kemp, Abigail Linencole, Juliet Perry, Chloe White, Sue Yu, Marin Auth, Hannah Goff, Makamai Gomera Stevens, Samantha Howell, Melissa Atesh, Emily Baumgart, Marie Lund Hansen, Natalie Ackerley, Kiana Beatty, Taylor Beavers, Stephanie Cho, Lita Force, Kaylee Keefe, Samantha King Shaw, Lauren Newman, Charisma Taylor, Jordan Tucker, Lovely Tukuafu, Charity Bradley, Aria McCumber. Congratulations to all of our Cougar seniors. And now to continue with our senior award program, here's our director of athletics, Pat Chun. Hey Cougs, welcome to the 2021 Cougar Senior Awards. My name is Pat Chun and I'm your athletic director. And I just ultimately wanted to say thank you for all your hard work, dedication and perseverance this past year. This will be a year none of us will ever forget but thanks to you, your teammates, and your coaches, you've made Washington State better, we're well positioned for the future, and most especially, you guys are even better positioned to accomplish all of your goals in life. Our program we have set for tonight will be fun. It's my honor to introduce our first speaker, Dr. Eka Berduli. Dr. Berduli is a former All-Pac-12, All-Academic Pac-12 tennis student athlete here at Washington State, and she has a special message for all of our Cougar seniors. Go Cougs. Hi fellow Cougs, my name is Eka Berduli. I play tennis at WSU, I graduated in 2008. Uh, you might have seen a wall length uh, picture of me hitting a backhand in Bowler Gym right across the tennis offices, so that's me. Um, I also had the pleasure of uh, being an assistant women's tennis coach at WSU for six years, so overall I was lucky enough to spend 10 very special years as a Cougar player and coach in Pullman. WSU had such a lasting impact on me that even though when it was eventually time to leave Pullman, I didn't go too far. Um, after finishing my PhD, I moved up to work as a professor in uh, Spokane on the WSU Health Sciences campus, so I'm not far away. Um, I was really humbled to be asked to say a few words to this year's uh, special graduating student athletes. I came across the world myself to play tennis in Pullman, although to be fair, uh, at first I thought I was being recruited to play tennis in uh, Washington, D.C. But um, very quickly I found my forever home within WSU. As you know, being a Coug is a very special experience that is really hard to convey um, to someone that hasn't experienced this. Luckily, I don't have to work very hard to search for words since um, I know all of you share that feeling. Uh, what I can tell you uh, from my own experience of being past graduation is that that feeling, that special feeling of being a cougar will stay. Um, that feeling of having a close-knit uh, cougar family and a network that cares about you and for you uh, will now extend in radius from Pullman to pretty much all over the world. Um, I'm not sure what words of advice I can offer to you, a graduating class that um, is incredibly physically and mentally resilient. Um, you have gone through unprecedented and challenging times of studying and competing during COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I think you can take at least comfort in that if you've successfully went through the past few years, which you all have, 
Uh, you can be successful at anything you put your mind to. Uh, from my own humble experience, um, I would, however, encourage you um, uh, to be a yes person. So what do I mean by that? Um, I mean to say yes to opportunities, even if they aren't initially what you imagined, and even uh, if they may lead to mistakes. Uh, where I am professionally and personally uh, was paved with a bunch of these yeses um, and those opportunities that I didn't think I wanted or needed. And some of those opportunities uh, that I've said yes to have helped me realize which roads I definitely don't want to uh, <laughs> go down uh, on and aren't for me. And others uh, have brought me to roads that I didn't even know existed and that I enjoy. So take chances uh, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. You are a very special graduating class and I wish you the best of luck in everything you do. And just know that you've got the full support of your Cougar family in everything you do. So go Cougs. Coming to WSU as a freshman from New Zealand, I had no idea what to expect. The little I knew came from Googling pictures of the Palouse and watching YouTube videos of the campus. None of that could capture the Coug community or the pride and spirit that this unique campus and town holds. And I'm grateful to have had the opportunity of spending the last five years here experiencing this. I'll forever cherish the memories of singing. We always find our way back home at the football games, linked arm in arm with my teammates, ready to cheer on the Cougs. I'm proud to be leaving WSU as not only a better student and a better athlete, but a better person. From career development opportunities, to extra tutoring after practice, to one-on-one -on -one coaching in the tank, WSU Athletics has gone beyond the basics to ensure that they're setting their athletes up for success. And I'm extremely grateful to be on the receiving end of these generous opportunities. It makes me sad to be leaving such a special place and community. I've not thought much about the saying, once a coog, always a coog, during my time here. But now when it's come to graduating and moving forward to the next chapter, I hold that little quote as a piece of assurance that it's never over and I'll always have a spot in my heart for the Cougs. Hi, my name is Heather Irwin. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director for Academic Services. I'm here today to present the Senior Excellence and Academic Award. This award is given to our senior student athletes each year who earn a 3.5 or higher cumulative GPA. This talented group of seniors have been members of the WSU All Athletic Team each semester and have excelled in their degree and sport programs. On behalf of our academic staff, we would like to congratulate the following seniors for achieving excellence in their academic careers at WSU. For soccer, our award recipients are Marin Auth and Hannah Goff. From women's track and field, we have Kiana Beatty, Stephanie Cho, Lita Force, Kayla Keefe, and Samantha King-Shaw. From rowing, we have Oni Chigozzi, Isabella Cristelli, Renee Kemp, Abigail Lennon Cole, Chloe White, and Sue Yu. From women's golf, we have Marie Lund Hansen. From men's golf, Eric Hagen. From men's basketball, Jazz Koontz, and finally from football, Clay Markoff. Congratulations to all our recipients and go Cougs. Hello, I'm Ann McCoy, Deputy Director of Athletics at Washington State University, and it is my extreme honor to present this year's Pac-12 Postgraduate Scholarship Award recipients. Each year, two very deserving student athletes at Washington State who have finished up their athletic careers and are ready to take on postgraduate studies full time are awarded a $9,000 grant as recognition of their extreme athletic and academic achievements during their time at Washington State. This year, our first recipient is McKenna Woodford. McKenna was a four-year member of our volleyball team. She was a two-time captain. She was on the Pac-12 All-Freshman team. She was on the Pac-12 All-Conference team as a senior. She's been on countless all-academic teams and also was a two-time selection for the USA College National Team. 
She was very involved in community service uh, activities during her time at Washington State and beyond, and was the recipient of a top 10 senior award for community service and was also named outstanding senior for biological sciences. She graduated from WSU uh, summa cum laude with, with her bachelor's degree in biological sciences, pre-med, and then played professionally for a year in Sweden and is now pursuing her full-time advanced bachelor's degree in nursing at Creighton University. Congratulations to McKenna Whitford. Our next recipient is Marin Aw. Marin was a member of our soccer team here at WSU and served as a captain her senior year. She was a two-time recipient of the Coug Award, which is a tremendous recognition for not only her leadership, but really her consistent uh, ability of putting others before herself. She was a multi-time Pac-12 all-academic selection. She was on the President's Honor Roll and graduated this past December with her bachelor's degree in animal sciences with magna cum laude recognition. Marin often talks about how her time as a student athlete has really prepared her for the extremely competitive workplace and, and field of veterinary medicine. And she is starting this fall here at Washington State in our acclaimed College of Veterinary Medicine. And we wish her well. Congratulations to Marin. Hello, I'm Mitch Straub, the Deputy AD for Development at Washington State. It's my pleasure to present the Cougar Pride Academic Salute Awards. The Cougar Pride Academic Salute Awards are awarded to one male and one female senior student athlete who has over a 3.0 cumulative GPA and has excelled both academically and athletically. Our male recipient is Jamon Charles, a senior sprinter and long jumper on the track and field team. With a 3.49 GPA, Jamon is one summer class away from completing his MBA after already graduating with an MIS degree in undergrad. During his time in Pullman, he has been involved in Coop Pals, was a PAC counselor, served as a math and science tutor, and a SAC rep. As he prepares to leave Washington State, Jamon already has a job lined up for Aon as a health and benefits specialist that he will start in June. Congrats to Jamon for all his accomplishments at WSU. Our female recipient is Jordan Tucker, also a sprinter on the track and field team who has a 3.44 GPA in biology. She used her additional year of eligibility to add an additional minor to her degree program as she leaves with minors in both communication and psychology. Jordan is also a SAC rep and has participated in Coop Pals, Butch's Bash, and Reading Buddies. She's one of the social chairs for BSAA and the secretary for the Young Women's Christian Association and the VP treasurer for Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. During her time in Pullman, she started a skincare business, Sunflower, which was created during the pandemic and has been using her time to help edit YouTube videos for her brother and her fiance. After graduation, Jordan plans to enroll in a master's entry program for nursing and then become a nurse practitioner and possibly earn her doctorate. Her ultimate goal is to be a neonatal nurse practitioner. Please join me in congratulating her on a wonderful career at WSU. We want to wish both the best of luck post-graduation as we look forward to following their careers in the future. Certainly, bright days are ahead. Hey Googs, my name is Brian Blair, Deputy Athletic Director for Washington State Athletics. I'm here today to present the Steve Gleason Community Service Award. Today, Steve Gleason continues to embody the characteristics that have defined his entire life. He is determined to make an impact while fighting a battle that continues to be more about helping others than himself. Whether you call it activism, advocacy, or championing a cause, Steve Gleason defines community service. We're proud to recognize those student athletes who continue in his footsteps. This year's Steve Gleason Service Award winners are Ari McComber, Volleyball, and Owen Leonard, Baseball. Congrats to our award winners who set the bar, making our community a better place. Thanks again. Go Cougs. Hello, my name is Shelby McKay, the Assistant Director of Athletics for Student Athlete Development, and I am here to present this year's Cougar Athletics Leadership Award. This award is presented to the senior student athletes who have impacted a positive change within his or her sport, the athletics department, Washington State campus, at the conference and our national level, as well as the greater Pullman community. The recipients of the Cougar Athletics Leadership Award has consistent voices while representing the student athlete experience at WSU. The recipients have also demonstrated personal growth and development through active participation in student athlete development programming, such as the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, Black Student Athlete Association, leadership in peer academic counseling and mentoring programs, and community engagement. 
So this year's Cougar Athletics Leadership Award goes to Jordan Tucker from Women's Track and Field. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Cassie Hodgen and I'm here to present the Damien Fisick Athletic Training Award. The athletic training staff is pleased to select one male and one female senior student athlete who is humble, hardworking in the athletic training room, and has overcome physical and or other personal challenges to succeed at Washington State University. This year's male recipient is baseball's Jack Smith. Jack's athletic trainer, Travis, says that Jack has worked hard through multiple injuries throughout his career at WSU and has always maintained a great attitude and work ethic that has allowed him to overcome these injuries. He arrives every day with a smile on his face and always gives full effort and energy into whatever task is placed in front of him. He has developed into a leader on his team and always treats athletics staff and students with respect. This year's female recipient is Rowing's Renee Kemp. Renee has persevered through a number of physical issues during her time at Washington State, but has never let that stop her from being a gracious patient. She worked hard to overcome each hurdle she faced and did so while treating the athletic medicine staff and students with kindness, respect, and a smile on her face. In addition, Renee has been a quiet but impactful leader for the rowing team. Congratulations to Jack and Renee. Hey Cougs, Coach Barber here. I am the Assistant Athletic Director for Strength and Conditioning, and I'm honored to be here tonight to present, in my opinion, the best award of the night. Uh, it's the Ovi Lane Cougar Strength and Conditioning Award. Uh, it goes to student athletes that excel both on the field or the court or the track uh, and in the classroom uh, and in our weight room. Uh, these student athletes have a purpose and that purpose is to practice to be great, not just to practice to check a box. Uh, they come in here, the effort is there day in and day out. They have enthusiasm, they're all about the team. Even in individual sports, they're team first. Uh, they hold themselves accountable, they hold their team teammates accountable. Uh, they have an ability to grind through the really hard days. Uh, of working out, of practice, of school, uh, and they thrive. Uh, and the student athletes that, that unanimously won the award this year are on the female side, Jordan Tucker of the women's track and field team. Congratulations, Jordan. Uh, you were a phenomenal ambassador for your sport. Uh, I loved every day you came in and you just went to work. Uh, you always had a smile on your face. You did an unbelievable job during this terrible time that we find ourselves going through uh, and you kept your head up, you helped keep your teammates head up and you did a great, great job. So congratulations. And on the men's side, it was unanimous as well for Owen Leonard on the baseball program, baseball team. Uh, Owen is a dude that actually interned for us as well. Uh, great, great team guy, uh, big time culture guy, uh, talk about effort. Uh, talk about team first, uh, Owen stands head and shoulders uh, above just the average dude. You know, he is he is an amazing teammate, uh, works his tail off uh, to get better, helps push his teammates to get better. Uh, and I'm very, very proud of, of what Owen has done this year uh, to help his team and to help that culture of the baseball program. So congratulations to you two and go Cougs. Hello, my name is Derek Mitchell and I'm the coordinator of student athlete development here at Washington State University. And I'm here to present the SAC True Cougar Award. This award is given by the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, honoring one male and one female senior student athlete who started their WSU career as a non-scholarship student athlete and who worked their way to earn a scholarship. These individuals represent to all student athletes and staff the definition of leadership commitment to athletic excellence, and above all else, True Cougar Pride. So without further ado, I would like to present the SAC True Cougar Award to Owen Leonard from the baseball team and Natalie Ackerley from the women's track and field team. And we want to thank you all for your dedication and commitment to WSU Athletics and let you know that we truly appreciate it. Thank you. Good afternoon, friends. Seniors, parents, faculty, staff, student athletes, and all other Cougs. 
My name is Dan Blankenship and I am the fifth of Duane and Beulah Blankenship's six children. It's my honor and privilege to be joining you here today, at least wherever here is for you, to present for the 22nd time the Beulah M. Blankenship Outstanding Senior Athlete Awards. Before I do that though, on behalf of the entire Blankenship family, I would like to thank WSU Athletics for continuing to honor my mother and her contributions to three generations of Cougars in this way. The award is named after a little dynamo of a farm wife from Washtucknow, Washington. She never attended Washington State University, although five of her six children did. She never worked here or coached here. She never donated enough money to have a building named after her. But what she did do, after shepherding all six of her kids and countless others through Little League, junior high sports, and high school sports, she and my dad turned their attention to about 30 years worth of Cougar student athletes, all Cougar athletes. She attended games, matches, practices, banquets, and fundraisers of all kinds. They traveled with the football team and men's basketball, never missing a home or away game for a string of about two dozen years. She baked several thousand dozen of the best cookies you ever tasted. She created hundreds of scrapbooks for graduating seniors, coaches, and trainers. She crafted handmade quilts for several staff members, some of which still hang in places of honor in offices in Bowler Gym. She became a trusted friend, helpful advisor, crazy aunt, or beloved adopted grandma, and huge fan for three generations of Cougs. She and Dad eventually moved here to Pullman so they could spend more of their time with her coos. She had her favorites, usually kids who beat the odds, whose contributions were in excess of their God-given talents. She always was able to find the coos who were special people, good people, ones who did things the right way. This year's award recipients fit that mold perfectly. First, the male recipient. He's a two-year team captain. He received the SAC Leadership Award for 2020. He will earn his degree this spring in kinesiology and he is a third generation Coug. Some comments from the letter supporting his nomination for this award. He is an exceptional leader who represents Washington State University both academically and athletically. He recognizes the power and influence of his role as a student athlete and never takes it for granted. He is a role model to his teammates. The culture of his team is changing for the better and he is a main influencer of that change. His focus on improving the work ethic, respect, and commitment across his entire team has shown in his, te in his team's success on the field and in the classroom. He exemplifies what it means to be a true leader and student athlete. This year's male recipient of the Beulah M. Blankenship Outstanding Senior Athlete Award is from Cougar Baseball, Owen Leonard. The female recipient is also currently a team captain. She is a three-year letter winner in her sport. She has been active in the Student Athlete Advisory Committee her entire career, both as a member and in leadership roles. In the words of her coach, she is the consummate student athlete. She exemplifies athletic excellence, sportsmanship, dedication, and the service traits you seek. In addition to maintaining a 3.73 GPA and a grueling 20 hour per week training schedule, she still maintains a volunteer spirit and a selfless dedication to her team, the athletic department, and her community. She is a leader by action as well as by example. She is the hardest worker and the best teammate she can be. In a sport often characterized as the ultimate team sport, she still stands out. She has been a driving force since her freshman year. She always volunteers. She's involved in peer counseling, the yearly food drive, Butch's Bash, Special Olympics, and many other activities. One of her most outstanding traits is her sincere and humble approach to life. This young woman embodies all the selection criteria for the Blankenship Award. 
this year's female recipient of the Beulah M. Blankenship Outstanding Senior Athlete Award is from women's rowing, Renee Kemp. Congratulations to both of this year's recipients and to all the graduating Cougar student athletes and their families. We'll see you again next year and go Cougs. I am so excited to have the opportunity to present an award for our annual Washington State Athletics Cougar Senior Awards, recognizing our truly resilient and extremely talented 2020 and 2021 senior class. My name is Chris Park and I serve as the Deputy Athletic Director for External Relations. It is my privilege to announce the winner of this year's Tom Hansen Pac-12 Conference Medal. This award is presented to one male and one female student athlete based on the greatest combination of performance and achievement in athletics, leadership, and scholarship. First, our female student athlete winner. This outstanding Coug has been described by her coach as one of the top athletes in the world. Among her many accomplishments during her career as a Coug, this past indoor, t indoor season, she broke the school record in the 60 meter hurdles and the triple jump and earned NCAA first team All-American in the triple jump. As of this recording, she has qualified for the World Track and Field Championships. Off the track, she is an amazing leader, serving as team captain, student athlete advisory council board member, and the treasurer for the BSAA. Our female student athlete winner of the Tom Hansen Pac-12 medal, Charisma Taylor. Congratulations, Charisma. For our male student athlete winner, this talented Coug has been described as a relentless worker who lives each day with a positive and optimistic attitude and greets everyone with whom he interacts with an amazing smile. On the track, his accomplishments have rewritten the record books during his time at Washington State, which led to earning All-American honors in 2019 and 2020. In the classroom, he earned his undergraduate degree in May of 2020 and has been pursuing a second degree this past year. A true inspiration to not only his teammates, but to the entire Department of Athletics at Washington State. Our male student athlete winner of the Tom Hansen Pac-12 medal, Ray Ray Wells. Congratulations, Ray Ray. Hi, my name is Nancy Swanner, and I'm the faculty athletics representative here at Washington State University. I also wear three other hats at WSU, including being an associate dean for intercollege partnerships, the founding director of the Granger Cobb Institute for Senior Living, and most importantly, I have just completed my 21st year on the faculty as a faculty member in the School of Hospitality Business Management. Today I have the privilege of announcing the winners for several prestigious university awards. First, the College of Arts and Sciences Outstanding Senior Award goes to one student from each academic degree program who has had outstanding academic performance and has made valuable contributions internally and externally to WSU during their undergraduate studies. From the Women's Studies program, Samantha King Shaw from Track and Field is a CAS Outstanding Senior. Congratulations. Next, the President's Awards for Leadership recognize students who embody the values of equity, social justice, self-knowledge, personal empowerment, collaboration, citizenship, and service. Congratulations to Melissa Atesh, tennis, on this outstanding award. Finally, three student athletes were awarded top 10 senior awards. These men and women are recognized by the WSU Alumni Association for representing the highest standards in specific aspects of the WSU experience. Those include academics, athletics, campus involvement, community service, and visual and performing arts. The first of the awardees, Dallas Hobbs for athletics, Dallas is an executive board member, creative director, and co-founder of the Black Student Athlete Association. He's a defensive lineman on the WSU football team, outstanding senior for digital culture and technology, a Pac-12 conference all academic honor roll, representative on the Pac-12 student athlete leadership team, graphic designer for the Cougar Athletic Fund, a representative on the student athlete advisory committee, a freelance graphic designer, and co-host for the podcast, Showing Colors, with baseball player Danny Cervantes and soccer player Khalees Barton. Congratulations, Dallas. For academics, Samantha King Shaw receives this top 10 award. Samantha, again, is on the women's cross country and track and field team. She's a cross country team representative for the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, 
social justice peer educator for the Office of Outreach and Education, secretary treasurer for the Queer Intersections Association, outreach and events coordinator for period at WSU. Congratulations on your top 10 awards, Samantha, as well. And certainly last but not least, also for athletics, a top 10 honoree, Charisma Taylor. Charisma is a board member and team representative on the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, treasurer of the Black Student Athlete Association, WSU track and field team member in the triple jump and sprint hurdles, uh, is a WSU record holder for the triple jump and the 60 meter hurdles, NCAA first team All-American in the triple jump, and Bahamian national record holder in the triple jump. She assisted with the Lauren McCluskey Memorial 5K race to support women's safety on college campuses, is a volunteer with Food Not Bombs of the Palouse, and is an entrepreneur and owner of the Pastry Chateau in Nassau, Bahamas, with her specialty being tropical cheesecake. I have a soft spot in my heart for Charisma because as a hospitality faculty member, she and I have worked together a few times during her, her undergraduate career. So congratulations, Charisma. And certainly congratulations to all of our award winners and all of the 2021 student athlete graduates. Best of luck to all of you. And as always, go Cougs. Hey Cougs, Pat again here. And this concludes our program for the evening. I just wanna thank you guys again for all you've done for Washington State and remind you to stay connected and reach back to all of us here in Pullman. You're always a part of our family. We would look forward to watching you accomplish things in the next chapter of your lives. And the only way that we know how to end programs officially is with our fight song. Go Cougs.